look what we have here. Yes, it is another vlog. It is a morning vlog, hence my morning croaky voice. And I've got someone with me. Oh. And look at my eyes, look at my eyes. The eyes don't lie. Tired eyes today. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's been about 23 years later, insert. It's been forever. Oh my God, how blown out is this light? What is going on? Okay, Woo! Why do I look this color? Oh, humidity, see? Now the lens is fogging up. This is vlogger problems. Let me fix the lens and then we'll be back. A new vlog. I've got someone to hold the camera for a change. How smoothie. Leaving home, it is a Wednesday. We are still in the thick of COVID. Not quarantine, businesses are back to normal, but it is not back to normal. And I'm on my way to the gym today. Insert music, B-roll footage here. Morning mono, cardio, cardio, and cardio. All the weaknesses, running, air bike, running, and air bike. <laughs> and muscle ups. <laughs> and burpees. <laughs> and barbells. I'm so sorry! Now you come into the gym, the lovely people check your temperature, you gotta clean your hands, they check your mask is on, and then you get training. Coffee first. Starting with the coffee, that's my pre-workout. We haven't really structured what we're gonna do yet. If you've been following the vlog since day one, this is gonna be no different because I'm still training at the warehouse gym, upgraded warehouse gym, very snazzy, gorgeous, newly renovated. So we've just come out of an expansion where they've increased the bodybuilding area. They've increased the functional fitness area. So very, very cool space to work with. Got the coffee, got part one of the workout done, which is every second minute on the minute, eight to 10 cal ski or row, I think, and then one sled push. And then rest remaining minutes, and then go again. How many rounds, how many minutes, I don't know. Good morning, lovely people of Grit. This is the marketing manager, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. She's leaving me, so we need to replace the marketing manager position. <laughs> I to be looking for a marketing manager position. I don't work for free. <laughs> oh, you see? The love is not there. There's no love. I have faith. You this can't replace me. She's irreplaceable, obviously. I have, to I have two dogs. <laughs> two dogs. And a husband. <laughs> I have a fish. And a husband to be. Fair enough, I respect the transparency. You will not be a candidate. <laughs> the cleaning squad at the warehouse gym. After every class, they do a sweep of the floor of all the equipment. And they're doing such a good job, thank you so much. I thought it was every second minute calorie row or ski. It's not, it's actually calorie bike. Bike and sled, now who does that? That's just insane. That's like someone who wants me to die in the first five minutes of my workout. Don't do this to me. So for those of you that know, I suck. Boy. Suck balls. That escalated quickly. On the air bike, one of my weaker movements whenever in a workout, so that slows me down completely. And the past couple of weeks, I've been trying to get on the air bike. Normally I avoid it like the plague, but the past couple of weeks, I've been trying to get on the air bike at least twice a week. Nico said, just get comfortable on there and try and do little short bursts and longer time on there so that you can feel when your body hits that can't anymore or how far you can actually take it. So I am a little bit more comfortable on the bike these days. It doesn't scare me as much. Today will be a good test because I've never done it in a workout since I've been trying to do this I mean I've been getting on there for like times of maybe 20 second sprint 30 second sprint or just long rides but 
today is the first time it's going to be programmed in a workout and in an EMOM, which holds you accountable to intensity and calories. So that's going to be a good test to see if, like they say, the hard work has been paying off or not. It is seven calories and a sled sprint there and back. So seven calorie bike and then the sled sprint is all the way up and all the way down every two minutes. What's the distance of this track? So it's about 16 meter track we're doing, okay? So we're doing a 30 meter sled sprint basically. 15 up, 15 back. Round one, under a minute. You know, that's never gonna happen again. So, we're doing five rounds, two done, three to go, three hard rounds ahead. Okay, third round. Oh, I died on the sled on the third round. My legs are failing me. Ah, oh, part one of that workout done. Did not maintain the same intensity all the way through. I did on the bike, but then because I was really trying on the bike, I kind of used my sled as a recovery almost. Just kind of keep it moving, get there and get back to the other end. So I started out in round one. Finishing both moves in one minute, finished up today. One minute 20 in round, round number five. Give it a go, check out the workout, give it a go. New normal at the moment, trainers wearing a mask. You don't have to cover your nose and your mouth, but make sure it's below your chin when you're training. Other new normal, after every time you use a piece of equipment, you wipe it down. Give it a nice, good wipe down, ready for the next person to use. Never ever did this before. I don't think gym equipment has been cleaner in the history of gyms being open. Barbells are shiny, pull-up bars are slippery as beep. Don't forget to wipe down your equipment, guys. Keep everyone safe and moving. will be the fun stuff which will be I think something gymnasticsy gymnasty hanging off a bar e how was it <laughs> why the run was hard for you? Yeah. yeah. The run was the hardest. Because you haven't been on a treadmill in a while. I'm never on a treadmill. Yeah, exactly. I'm Told you. Work the weaknesses, homie. Work the weaknesses. That was really hard to put it. Yeah, it was good. I think that was just the right yeah, intensity for us. 800 meters on the treadmill would have broke me mentally. Yeah, like me I was too. hitting my threshold at 400 because I normally run at 200, 250 in a workout. So 400 is double that. And then to go... My back was blowing up. That last 100 was a fight. So 800 would have been, I would have come off there and just died. Yeah. No way. Oh, hi. 
<laughs> They're always dropping knowledge bombs, so you're just gonna no, keep I, it. I think it's really important. I mean, it, I mean, it's so true. Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. I mean, I'm not saying you can't go out and do anything, but I think some keep, certain people need to uh, respect those who have put in, you know, put in the hard labor, man. And my doing problem, what they want to do. my problem with the whole situation is, if you've been given a platform and you've got a level, a certain amount of following, you know, you need to uphold that accountability factor. Absolutely, absolutely. That's absolutely. me, personal accountability. You can't be leading people down the yeah. wrong way. Charger. And how many people, how many of these people, fitness coaches out there, are leading people completely off track? Absolutely. That's my problem with this. Yeah. Accountability. Yeah. I was just having a conversation with my wife this morning. I said, we are in a time where unaccountability is the new mm. thing now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could do whatever you want and no one will say anything because also the little, I don't know, this new mindset of just being so over sensitive. Mm. As soon as you say something to someone like, hey, Everyone's man, a volatile man. Yeah, it's like you cannot yeah. say anything anymore. And I just think, you know, to hell with that. I'm not going to conform to this abnormality. This is not normal that I can't say anything or I can't express myself, you know. Obviously, if I do it with respect, it should be respected and response. It should be. Do you think it's a generational thing? Because we're from the old school, that it's so different now? Or do you think it's just the way it's, it's you know, the, the next direction that it's going in terms of social media and... Uh, well, I, no, I used to believe that. But, you know, even when you look at these, uh, these social media, you know, the what you call them, like, once it's with CEOs, I mean, they're under attack. You know what I mean? So it's not a generational thing. I think it's just a, a huge secret or political, weird political agenda to shut everyone up. You know, and, and I hate to mention this, but in light of the, the incident that happened last night in Lebanon, right? Or yesterday, I saw it last night. Um, I said, what better time to do dumb shit and say yeah. dumb shit yeah. than now? We have yeah. so many things going on, it's just totally preoccupying you. You choose one. Serious. What am I going to find? Yeah. And I yeah. think that has created more insensitivity than anything. Yeah. Come on, you got a bombing that goes off, and people want to believe that it's a uh, it's an accident or it's like an in-house explosion. It's like, well, why could it not be yeah. a bomb attack? Yeah. Like, why could it not be that? Mm -hmm. because, oh, people just found that mean. We got COVID-19. You got child molestation going on. You yeah. got women trafficking going yeah. on. Yeah. Why would that not be possible? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, okay, it's if it's not on that level, you yeah. know, and it's not real. It's yeah. just, if it was an accident. Come on, anything yeah. is possible now. So, with all of, in light of all of these things that are just being allowed to exist in our society today, then it's no wonder why someone would come from driving a taxi and walk into the gym yeah. and do 10 push ups and say yeah. he's a personal trainer. Yeah, that's true. You don't want to say anything. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's true. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just ranting again. No, no. That was a good point. Yeah, I've, I've had a big thing, thing about it. this, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not hating on the influencers. I'm not hating on the young pop chicks out there. But you know, when you've got a platform of people following you, you need to step up, and you need to be. It's not right. Gym day done. Gymnastics not done. We ended up chatting and ranting about the fitness situation in Dubai. I'm not sure if I can say in the world, but in Dubai at present. Coach B's from the old school. I'm from the old school, so we've got the right to rant. Return of the vlog done. That's it. Training done for the day. Nothing from nothing, nothing.